At the end of the 20th century, Shanghai regained its status as a dynamic and prosperous city. Once eclipsed by the Maoist regime, today the city appears to be one of the drivers of the Chinese economy. A financial power on an international scale, a modern city deliberately moving towards liberal globalization, Shanghai is the symbol of the opening up of the most populous country in the world. Faced with these high stakes, the Chinese economy must nevertheless adapt to new constraints, notably agriculture, which today represents an important part of the national economy, but sometimes still functions using ancestral methods. Equally, industry, which is endowed with ancient infrastructures and hinged around parallel activities. The movement towards profit is, however, accompanied by inevitable pitfalls, such as the pollution and erosion of the environment. At the same time, the migration from the countryside is causing housing shortages in urban areas and contributing to the shift of balance between social classes. Education is also a priority within the context of a thorough reform of society. While architectural, political and cultural testimonies to the communist period persist in China as a whole, the country is no longer divided between tradition and modernity. A member of the World Trade Organization since 2002, the Middle Kingdom is from now on at the heart of the Pacific Zone, which could become the epicenter of global trade in the 21st century.